Year 5 Subtraction. Please make sure before watching this video that you have watched the 1, 2, 3 and 4 subtraction videos as this builds very much on what's been learned in there and children would be using all of the strategies in those videos before they came to this. This challenge is 8006 take away 6993. Throughout school children would have been encouraged to use number lines and to think about whether or not they want to count back from a number or count forwards on a number line. To count back from 8006 by 6,993 would, would not be the strategy that children would be encouraged to use as they could get quite lost. And actually, thinking about it, 8,006 isn't much over 8,000 and 6,993 isn't much below 7,000. So they're not too far apart. So we would count forward. The smallest number goes first when we're counting forward, just as with any easier numbers and the larger number goes last. In this method we are looking at counting forward and so we're looking at working out our jumps and adding them together to find the difference because taking away is looking for a difference. If we have a number ending in 3 we know that if we add 7 that takes us to the next multiple of 10. The next multiple of 10 actually is 7,000. 7,000 can easily get us to 8,000 by just simply adding on a whole thousand, which is a nice, easy step. We've added on a thousand, we're at 8,000, and we need to get to 8,006. So we've just got six more to add on. <coughs> we've now got three jumps that we need to add together to find our difference, which will be our answer. 1,000, we start with the big one, 1,007, 1,007 add 6 is 1,013. This example is very similar, but with, with what looks like easier numbers, but actually perhaps a little bit more fiddly. We've got 816 take away 743. Again, the children wouldn't be encouraged to count back with this as the numbers are quite close together. So, 743, our smaller number goes first, 816, our larger number goes last, and we're counting up, we're counting up to find the difference which will be our answer. 743, a number that ends in 3, we know that if we add 7 it will take us to our next multiple of 10, our next number that ends in a 0, which is 750. I'm at 750 and I want to get to 816. Some children straight away would be able to see that if they add on 66 that will get them to 816. Other children will need to take smaller jumps and add on 50 to get them to 800. Once they're at 800, hopefully they can see well they just need to add on 16 to get to 816. We've now got three jumps that we need to add together to find our answer. So we have 50 add 16 is 66. 66 add 7 is 73. So our answer is 73 and we've done that using the counting forward method. Counting forward can also be used for decimals as it can for counting back but decimals is something that children will begin to use quite a lot in year five. 4.1 take away 1.8. Some children may decide to count back for this. However, counting forward does seem an easier option with the numbers that we have. We use exactly the same strategy, even though they're decimals. And this time, instead of looking for multiples of 10, we're looking for whole numbers. We know that the next whole number after 1.8 is 2. And to get from 1.8 to 2, we'd add on 0 0.2. Children would have had quite a lot of decimal input before they got to this point. We now want to jump to the next whole number underneath 4.1, which is 4. To get from 2 to 4, 
we add on two. And then our final jump is a nice easy one. I want to get from 4 to 4.1, so I add on 0.1. I've got two, I'm going to start with my big number because now I've got to add my three jumps together. I've got two, 2.2, add a 0.1 is 2.3. So my answer to 4.1 take away 4, sorry, 1.8, 4.1 take away 1.8 is 2.3. In year five, decimals will also be used in the written method. Children will have used the written method in previous year groups and should be becoming confident with the compact method as they come into year five. We use exactly the same strategy, 5,764 take away 821.6. Very careful here, the children need to be encouraged to line up their numbers carefully and they might, as I need to, move their subtraction sign. We have got some thousands only in this number, hundreds in both, tens in both, units in both, then we've got some tenths in one of the numbers but not in the top number. So the best thing would be to add in a holding zero after my decimal point to make sure that children are clear and don't get confused. Because it's after the zero, it actually does not affect the number at all. 5,764 is the same as 5,764.0, but that zero does help the children in their lining up. Just as before, they start with the least significant digit first. In this case, it's tenths. Before they do that, they'd be encouraged to put in their decimal place because now they treat it as they would any other subtraction. I've got no tenths and I want to take away six tenths. The children would have used the longer method in previous year groups or perhaps in year five if they're finding it tricky and they would need to take away one from the units and push it into the tenths to help them because they can't do zero take away six. I'm going to take one away from my units and I'm going to push it into my tenths. So it becomes ten tenths. Ten tenths is the same as a whole one and that is the whole one that I've taken away from the four. My units becomes three because I've taken one away. Can I do it now? Yes I can. Ten take away six is four. Ten tenths take away six tenths is four tenths. I'm going across to my units. I can ignore my decimal point. Three take away one is two. Six take away two is four. Seven take away eight. I've got the same problem here that I had over here. Seven is smaller than eight so I can't do it. I've got seven hundreds, hundreds and I need to pinch one from the thousands to help me. So I'm going to pinch one and instead of it being 700, it's going to be 17 hundreds. And I'm going to take one off my thousands, which makes 4,000. So my hundreds becomes a seven, sorry, it becomes from a seven to a 17. 17 take away eight is nine. I've now got my thousands column, 4,000 take away no thousands is 4,000. So my final answer is 4,942.4. Much trickier example and the children would only come to this when they are confident.